Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to find credit ratings of your stocks. What does it mean and where to find this information for free? So let's get started. All the links mentioned in this presentation are provided in the description section of this YouTube video. So if you are new here, my name is David Das of thinkandretire.com and this channel is dedicated to share some tips and tricks of the stock market and personal finance. Make sure you watch the full video as I will present a link for free audiobooks at the end. So what is a credit rating? A credit rating is an opinion of a particular credit rating agency regarding the ability and willingness that an entity whether it's a government, business, or an individual can fulfill its financial obligations. In order to run a business, companies need to borrow money. They issue bonds and in return they pay interest to investors. They should also be able to pay the principal to the investors at the end of the term. It is similar to the personal credit score that the banks look at before providing mortgage loans to us. Why this information is important to us? It is a good idea to buy stocks of a company which are financially stable and can meet their financial obligations. If a company cannot pay back to the investors, the corporation would be considered in default and it would be a good idea to avoid stocks of those companies. More than 85% of the overall ratings market are controlled by three prominent credit rating agencies. They are Standard & Poor's, S&P, Moody's and the Fitch Group. In this video, we will use the first two. Types of credit ratings. Credit ratings are generally categorized into two main groups, investment grade and speculative grade or junk grade. These ratings are further narrowed down. Triple A is the highest credit quality and C or D, depending on the credit rating agency, are the lowest or the junk quality. As you can see, it is better to buy stocks of a company which have credit ratings of the investment grade if other stock selection criteria are met. If you want to know more about these ratings, both S&P and Moody's have excellent resources on the website. Links are in the description below. If you are finding this video useful, I'm sure you will enjoy my other videos and also my weekly new videos. If you are interested to know more about trading for income, options for income, value investing, investing for retirement and much much more, you want to make sure you hit the subscribe button because those are the exact videos that are coming up next in this channel. Let's now find credit rating of a few stocks using the S&P method. You need to register first, it is free and easy. The link is provided in the description below. Once you have registered, then log in. Now I'm going to find the credit ratings of 10 stocks. There will be two from US stock market, which will be Microsoft and Intel. Two from Canadian stock market. It will be Royal Bank of Canada and Canadian National Railway Company. Two UK stocks, Glaxo and Unilever. Two Indian stocks, Infosys and State Bank of India and two Australian stocks, BHP Group Limited and Telstra Corporation. The results are tabulated after I finish searching with the Moody's method.
Now let's find the credit rating of the same stocks using the Moody's method. In the same process, you have to register first and it is free and it is easy. And then you have to log in. The links are provided in the description below and I will find the credit rating of the same stocks as we did for the S&P. One good thing about the Moody's is that it provides the historical change of the ratings. The results are tabulated at the end. I have summarized the findings from both the methods that we just used to find the uh, ratings and as you can see and if you compare this with the information we saw earlier all the grades fall into the investment grade only thing that we need to look at is the risk level which varies from lowest risk to medium risk So there you have it. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful. This is David Das with thinkandretire.com signing off.